welcome to the War Room for Courageous Wives. Our mission is to encourage and equip wives and women of God for our spiritual battles. Now, it's easy when things are going good, but what about the difficult seasons? On this podcast, we talk about the hard stuff and celebrate the good things. So sit back, listen, and learn with us. Good morning. Today is um, the second day of Holy Week. Yesterday was Palm Sunday. Um, And today I just want to talk a little bit about like love. You know, um, um, my devotional today was on love. And so uh, I just wanted to share what God put on my heart. 1 Corinthians chapter 13, um, verse 8, love never fails. You know, everybody knows the the love chapter is what most people call it. 1 Corinthians um, chapter 13, you know, it's one of our greatest reminders to us today of what real love is um, and and also what it isn't. Um, It's, I'm sure you've heard it like at weddings or, you know, over um, like Valentine's cards, anniversary cards, you know, all over love notes. Um, these words may become so familiar over time, but they can also lose some of their importance because we've heard it so much over and over and over um, that sometimes we don't realize how important, um, you know, that message is. You know, as we read, you know, this portion of scripture today, let's ask God to help us in soaking in every truth, you know, as we pray this pow- his pr- powerful words back to him. Um, I'm so um, big on that. I talk about that a lot on this podcast, praying God's words back to him and um, asking for the freshness of his of his spirit um, to bring his message of love alive, you know, within our hearts and flowing through our lives every day, Um, you know, because we can't do it on our own. We can't do it without him. Um, We'd never be able to muster up enough strength within ourselves to love that way without him. Um, It's only possible through him. And more than ever before, you know, our world needs to see what true love looks like. Can, you know, we can do a lot of things of, you know, good things in life, you know, giving people gifts, you know, even making sacrifices to others, doing a lot of good deeds. But if we don't have Christ's love within us, compelling us, filling us every moment of every day, it profits nothing. We all know um, the famous um, Bible verse where it says, if I speak with the tongues of men and of angels, but do not have love, I become a noisy gong of sound. If I have the gift of prophecy and know all the mysteries and know all the knowledge and have the faith to move mountains, but I don't have love, I have nothing. If I give all my possessions to feed the poor, if I surrender my body to be burned, but do not have love, it profits me nothing. Love is patient. Love is kind. Love is not jealous. Love does not brag and is not arrogant does not act unbecomingly. It does not seek its own. It is not provoked. It does not take into account a wrong suffer, does not rejoice in unrighteousness, but rejoices with the truth, bears all things, believes all things, hopes all things, endures all things. Love never fails. But now faith, hope, love, but now faith, hope, love abide all these three, but the greatest of these is love. So I just read 1 Corinthians 13, 1 through 8, and also um, verse 13, which is the last portion. And as I mentioned earlier, like we, we read those things and we're like, you know, wow, that, that is, that's, that's, that's a big ask. You know what I mean? For lack of a better word, it's like, that's, it's a lot like, you know, to make sure that you're that you're doing all these things and you're loving the way God says. And like I said, it's so much, it's a big ass that it's very hard. We cannot do this without God. We have, we only, we have to rely on him to help us to love the way he did. 
because it's not easy. We're human and our flesh is strong at times. And uh, especially we're in the heat of the moment if we're going through situations or if we're frustrated or, you know, we're having, we're battling, um, you know, our, our fleshly feelings and emotions and, you know, trying to be led by the Holy Spirit. That's our ongoing battle every single day of our lives. And in order to let the Holy Spirit win, we have to rely on God to to teach us how to love this way and to help us to love this way, to help us to be patient, to help us to be kind and not jealous. Sometimes it's so easy to be jealous. Like, let's be honest. Um, it's so easy to brag. It's so easy to be arrogant sometimes, you know? So we have to just be honest with ourselves and allow God to help us through these emotions and and these feelings and 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 situations in lives to where that we are displaying his love you know um as i mentioned earlier we can do good things. We can do a lot of good things in life. We can give gifts. We can make sacrifices. We can feed the homeless. We can do all these things. All, but if we don't love the way Christ is asking us to love, then we have accomplished nothing at the end of the day, right? Um, so that's, that's what uh, my devotional was about this morning. And it's just really just penetrating my heart as um, this is the second day of Holy Week. And I'm just reflecting on God and what he did for us um, on the cross and uh, just remembering really what true love is. And just so my prayer today is just praying that God can help us in that. God can help us to love truly the way that he has called us to. Um, so let us pray. Dear God, I thank you. That you are a loving, gracious God. I thank you that you're that you've offered us forgiveness and the gift of new life in you, Lord God. We thank you what you did on that day. We thank you for that, Lord God. We thank you that your love is perfect. It never fails. And that nothing can separate us from your love. We pray that our lives would be filled and overflowing with the power of your love so that we can make a difference in this world, Lord God, and bring honor to you, honor and glory all to you, Lord God, in everything that we do. We ask for your help in reminding us that the most important things are not what we do outwardly, Lord God. It's not based on any talent or gift that we give or do, Lord God, but it's based on the most significant thing that we can do in life, and that's simply to love you, Lord God, and to choose to love others the way you called us to, God. Help us to display this love to our husbands, to our children, to our mothers, to our fathers, to our siblings, Lord God, to those around us, our co-workers, Lord God, our church members, our neighbors, Lord God. Help us to love others, Lord God, the way that you've called us to do it, Lord God. And it, it may not be easy for some of us, Lord God. We may be in difficult situations where it's really hard to show that love, God. But we ask that you, your Holy Spirit feel us from the crown of our heads, Lord God, from the sole of our feet, Lord God. We ask that you dwell and you swell in us, Lord God. And you help us to do things according to your will, Lord God, and, and through your spirit, Lord God. Help us to deny ourselves and to do things the way you called us to do them, Lord God. Lord, we thank you that your love is so patient, Lord God. Help us to show patience with those around us, Lord God. Lord, we thank you that your love is kind. Help us to extend kindness to others. Lord, your love is true. It is not jealous, Lord God. Help us to cast aside feelings of jealousy or hatred towards others, Lord God. No matter what they've done to us, Lord God, remind us that the battle is not ours and the battle is yours, Lord God. That if we stay in line with what you called us to do and to, to obey your command to love, Lord God, you will handle the rest. It's in your hands. We're leaving it at your feet. It's no longer our battle. It's not our, our issue to deal with, Lord God. It's yours. We put it in your hands, Lord God, our Father. You said that you will take care of it, Lord God. So we're, we're, we're giving you that, Lord God. And we thank you that your true love is not jealous, Lord God. And you're teaching us what true love is. You're teaching us to put aside our feelings of hatred and jealousy towards others, Lord God, no matter what. Lord, thank you that your love does not brag. Your love is not arrogant. Help us to not live with pride or arrogance. 
but to choose to walk with humility and grace. Lord, thank you that true love does not act unbecomingly. Lord, help us to extend kindness instead of rudeness towards others. Help us to lay aside the critical tone and tearing down with our words, Lord God. Mm, Lord God, help us with our words, Lord God, so that we can truly walk in peace, Lord God. I thank you, God, that you are guarding our mouths, Lord God. You're watching our tongues, Lord God. You're helping us to speak only those things that are good, only those things that are pure, Lord God. Thank you, Lord God, that we will be careful to sow good seeds, Lord God, that we will be careful to speak life-giving words and not death, Lord God. Lord, we thank you that true love does not seek its own. Lord, help us not to live selfishly, looking only to our own self-interest, Lord God. Lord, we thank you that true love is not provoked. Help us not to be provoked, Lord God. Help us not to take offense, Lord God, to the things that our husbands may do to us, Lord God, or wives, if husbands are listening to the sound of my voice, Lord God. Help us not to take offense. Help us not to be so quickly reactive, Lord God, but instead slow to speak, slow to become angry, Lord God. Thank you, Lord, that your love does not take into account a wrong suffered. Lord, help us not to hold grudges, not to, but to choose to forgive, Lord God, when it's difficult, especially when it's difficult. Help us to forgive quickly, Lord God. Lord, thank you that your love does not rejoice in unrighteousness, but rejoice with the truth. Lord, help us to love with your words of truth, Lord God. Help us to, uh, to know your words, to stand on your words, Lord God. Lord, help us to love your words, everything that your, the word of God teaches us, Lord God. Help us to truly love that and understand that. Lord, help us to, um, to walk in your freedom and, and the wisdom that comes from studying your word, knowing you, Lord God, and standing on your truth, Lord God. Let it be what drives our lives and our choices every single day. Let your love be what drives us, Lord God. Help us to make choices out of love. Your word says to do everything out of love, Lord God, and to strive to bring peace at all costs, Lord God. Help us to just remember what you are telling us every single day, Lord. We thank you that your love bears all things, believes all things, hopes all things, endures all things. Thank you that your love, Lord God, never fails. Help us to love as you love. Fill us with your spirit so that we can choose what is best, Lord God. We are weak, Lord God. And these things may not come easy to us, but we know that even when we are weak, you are strong within us. We know that you have left everything that we need to be successful in life. We know that you have equipped us to face every day with the power of your love, Lord God. We thank you. We thank you that it's not upon us, Lord God. This battle isn't ours. It's, it's, it's not ours to fight, Lord God. We thank you that you've equipped us to face every day with the power of your love, your forgiveness, and your grace, Lord God. We thank you that it's not up to us. We love you, Lord, and we need you today and every day. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. Thank you so much for listening. I hope that today's episode was encouragement and inspiration for your wifehood journey. Whether your marriage is thriving or barely surviving, we're all in a daily spiritual battle. And this podcast is here to help equip and encourage you to war in the spirit. As we're all doing the same thing right along with you, you're not alone. So please remember to click the link below to connect with us beyond the show. Can't wait to hear from you. Thank you.